So this is the first of the knots. This is your basic overhand knot. I have my uh, working end and I just want to tie a stopper so I make an overhand loop. This is when my working end comes across my standing end or the rest of my rope and the free end, the working end just tucks through that loop and as I pull that down tight you get your basic overhand knot. Uh, this is what most people think of when they, they picture a knot. It's just a simple overhand. It kind of starts this way when you're tying your shoes like a bow knot or some of the more complex knots we'll do in other videos. If you were to make this overhand knot, let's say I pass it around an object uh, with a half turn and then I make the overhand knot cutting through there, we would just call that a half hitch. Right? Not a very secure knot, just an overhand knot around an object, the, the basic half hitch. If I were to, I'll show you in a smaller cord, if I were to take and make my overhand loop, tuck my working end through the loop, and then tuck the working end through the loop again a second time, and then as that knot dresses down, you get what's called the double overhand knot, or sometimes it's called the blood knot. This is a much more robust uh, stopper knot, especially for smaller cord. You don't want to pull through like a, an eyelet for lacing or something. So that is the basic <clears throat> half hitch or overhand knot and the uh, double overhand.